combined or two? No, or two no, it's, it's separate. All right, so nine hundred thousand to build. Well, that we don't even. We, we, well, that's we an estimate. No, that's no, that, that was the that first happened. estimate right. that we had a couple years ago. Certainly, I, and. and I'm worried that when we get into phase one, there's going to be things that we might find sure. and that we're going to have to make some decisions based on the amount of money we have. And one of the things that we're seeing in the building right now is the second floor. Um, the ceiling is cracking a lot the, more. The ceiling in the second floor? Or the, yeah, on in the, the second. Uh, 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 the, well, the, the second floor is ceiling. Do they have the media? Yeah. Or, or the, sometimes they call it the third floor. But it's... Right. And, and really, the walls are two. And what we've... We're, we're talking to Larry there, and we're going, mm, maybe, you know, while we're doing this, we should start investigating what what could we do and put it possibly in phase two maybe we should open these walls up get some insulation in there and there was a lot of discussion and that's you know it's still, it's still, in all buildings you don't really know what there's no doing. insulation in that attic well you, the attic's a false that's a false attic I mean, there's yes, shoes yeah. up there yeah there's no insulation up there there's we got to take them out of two out obviously before yeah. we insulate but you don't want to insulate something that's going to fall down on you yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got to make sure that that's structurally okay. And the uh, and the, you know they just and they were covered on. over the uh, old um, uh, skylights. Skylights, right? Yeah. So there's going to be a little bit more investigation sure. on what to do. Our main focus is getting that first floor exactly. open. Yeah, I think once you have people in there, there's more investment in the building. Yes, and there'll be more support for doing the rest of the building. And you're absolutely right, Alan. I think when it's being utilized, showing that this is where the meeting's going to take place, what we can do in there, um, it's going to be a lot better. And people are going to say, yeah. I mean, yeah let's finish the And job. the thing is, they think of it as free money to some extent because it's sitting there yeah. in a pot already. It's not, th it's not part of their taxes right now. Yeah. Uh, so that sounds like a good game plan. Um, the other question, if I may, uh, on, on the tower, the addition. We've got a floor plan, and I'm glad to see we finally realized that we don't have 19 feet back there. No. Well, no. because when he originally did it, there was no parking lot finished there. Yeah, well, there is now. So, uh, you know, 14 feet, 13 feet, that's what we got. Oh, yeah, and, and that's, that's why I got did. revised. Perfect. So that was my, when I was coming this week, because I only seen, seen the original one, so we can't do 19 no, feet. No, that right. original one was a... Kind yeah, of throw it at an you idea. for very it's little money. Here you go. And, and we were trying at the time with 19 feet, we, we had a neat little layout sure, sure, sure. and work kind of worked really nice. It was simple. Yeah. Yeah. And we tried to get it into the yeah, site plan for the for the library, and we just couldn't. Yeah, we you can't afford it. to lose any of those. And that plans. brings the other issues yeah, yeah. relative to one project or whatever. Yeah. So no, it it, so, so it works. Good. Yeah. It's it's not. I would say it, I, I think it came out really nice. The layout. It's a little little more busier, I'll say, as far as how the layout is for the stairs. Yeah. But it works. Okay. From what we have. So my my next my the question the next question leading into that, and this is not something we I'm expecting to decide or anything like that. But we need to know, especially if we're going to ask for money down the road, even with the support that we think we're going to get. You need to have a rendering of what it's going to actually look like from the ground up. And to that point, do you guys remember the 2007 Ford Gillen report? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Larry actually had, I don't know if I have it. They, they had a rendering. Now, I don't say it has to look like that, but we have to have something like that in our hands when we ask for money. So people will be able to oh, say, yeah. oh, yeah, that's what's going to happen. And that's what it is based on the 19th. Yeah, that's hideous. But that's too big. It's, mm -hmm. it's, it's also ugly. I mean, it doesn't have to be ugly. Mm -hmm. If you guys ever have a chance, there's a building in Northampton that's an old business, just as old as Goodwin. And Smith College owns it, and they put a tower I mean, next to it. Okay? Yeah. It is gorgeous. It's like it's brick and glass, okay? And it's narrow, you know, and but that's I'm, based on I'm saying we should entertain <laughs> some ideas along the line to make it attractive. You know, if it doesn't mimic the Goodwin, existing Goodwin, if it's more modern, that can be okay as long as it's attractive. You know, the, the thing that I am afraid of ending up with is something like they did in, I think it's Deerfield, the Deerfield Library. They put a lift on, and it's basically a cinder block addition. 
you know, different color, no windows, ugly as hell, okay? I mean, if that's what we have to do to save money, oh, maybe, but I don't think we have to no. compromise that much. So I just think at some point down the road. I mean, this one here, it, don't forget, this back part is a computer rendering, so they can't. Yeah, I know. It's not 100%. Yeah, and I'm not saying. You're mimicking the same exact windows, same levels. Well, take, take, I mean, take a look at the Fort Gillen. Yeah. They did good work there. I mean, uh, and so I think we should make sure that when we invest the $25,000 or whatever, we're going to have to have it completely designed, not just the the, the floor I, thing, but that. You, I want to see something like that, but not like that. I want to see a rendering like that. It could be a hand drawn thing, like the Gillen thing. But maybe a couple of choices, you know, because then you can go to the town and say, here, this will, the bill is going to look just as good as it does now. And it's going to work good, mm -hmm. you know, if, and, and I think that we'll, we'll, need to, we'll need to have it to make our case, I think. So that, that's the, those are the two things about the good one that I just wanted to throw out there. Okay. It sounds like we can, there's no reason why we can't do it. Yeah, we'll, we'll be having certainly something like that. And, and and could I just ask what a procedural thing too? One I'm sorry. Can I ask a, a, a process issue. Pro, we Larry's on board, right? Mm -hmm. We're paying for for him with the CPA money. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. We also have twenty five thousand dollars for the design of the of next the thing. Right? Some, yeah, the some of this money. I'm a little concerned that because the second phase, especially you know, even the first phase, it's over a hundred thousand dollars. So are we following the procurement? Didn't we follow the procurement? Do we need to go out and get a couple more bids before we can tell Larry to keep going ahead? Oh, that's how it's been worked out. That's that's been cleared by Kim. That's been reviewed by town council. You've got somebody. Yeah, town not, council check. You've yeah, got your ass covered checked. on that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's been blessed. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, we wanted to make sure that that, and Larry did too. You know, Larry's not designing that whole back building. That's a whole different thing. He's kind of like laying out this. Right, right. Somebody's going to have to design it. Right. That, so I, the, I the back part. part. Let's yeah. back up. And, yeah. Okay. Cool. So phase one, <coughs> Larry's going to be doing, and he's working on the specs and all the um, drawings that are needed to do that. Yep. We should have those at the very beginning of September, possibly in the next week or so. Uh, for review and to get those out, the hope is that we can get them out sometime in the beginning of October, whatever it is it is. Those are preliminary thoughts, but and so we can get that going yep. and get get that done. So um, and the next phase for Larry is with the $25,000 to try to put a package together so actually the town can go out to bid on doing the specs and everything because it's such a large project. He's not going to be doing all the drawings, all the uh, specifications, oh, okay. but he's putting together. He's, our, he's, our he's going to do a, the a conceptual plan one. or a schematic. Right. And true. then we'll hire then you have to uh, an art, somebody, right. maybe it's him, but somebody yeah. to actually design the thing. Yes. Right. Okay. And then that's a complete package. All yeah. the engineering, yeah. HVAC systems, yeah. the whole nine, years, just like these buildings. Yeah. And the whole you think, you think the $25,000 will cover that? Or will no, the $25,000 covers, covers what Larry's going to be doing to go. Okay. 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 Yeah. And then you got to. Yeah. And we have, first of all, we have to get funded, but we right. also have. Yeah. Right. So, but, but you got to have something yeah. to go ask for money. Yeah. 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 yeah exactly. Yeah. A plan. Okay. That sounds like that's good. Okay. Good. So we're all on board. Everybody on the yeah. select board. Yeah. Finally, let's keep moving. I mean, yes. Yeah. yeah. And that's lost a year already. Yeah, the hope is that, like I said, um, I think Larry's going to get all phase one out. He's going to just jump onto the, the phase two stuff that he needs to do so we can get that stuff out. Figure as out soon what as money possible. we need to ask for. To get the, you know. yeah. Yeah. But on, on phase one, Larry is doing all the bid documents so it can be put out the bid. For phase one, uh, yes. Yeah, in October yes. or something. Yes. Think yes, yes, that's correct. So remind me, it, it, you know, I was on the impression that some of that ceiling repair on the second floor was included in phase one. Apparently it's not. Yeah, on the no, first floor. First, first floor, but not yeah. the second floor. No. Okay, so phase one is first floor ceiling. Well, it depends on how far we can go. He's looking at all of that. Right. You know, it, it, you don't want to start 
put them up there and insulate, you know. Oh, I understand. Yeah, I, I, I'm just, you know, making it clear so that I'm understanding what's I mean, going to get done by the end of the day. Unfortunately, we asked for this money like two years ago, yeah. and now we're two years later. Yeah, we're going to have to get an extension, I think. But that's well, that's not a big deal. Not Tom not is big. cost of materials and everything yeah, else. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. We're so by the end of the phase one, the first floor should be occupiable. Correct. And yes. Okay. And the second floor. The second floor all, should be some demo well, or something at least. Well, he's got, you know, the temporary walls up there for the different areas. I mean, he's looking at this stuff. I mean, we, is it going to, you know, like I said, between the time and the, the other things that we found, it may be, maybe it's not going to be enough money. But right. Maybe, right. Yeah. So it's well, possible that the further third floor, the top floor, the work, it's especially the major ceiling, work, yeah. and we may have to push that down the road, but we can still do the, the main floor. Yes. Yeah. It's going to be an occupied building. Yeah. We talked about the second floor being occupied. If we have to do more work, uh, how we could phase that. And we kind of feel that we can. We got enough room in the building that we could do maybe one side, move everybody over, and then back and forth. Right. And that's we, we'll look at that. Together. That's another issue is does it have these yeah. up there? So yeah. you know they're gonna to have to be protected while during you know especially from dust and stuff like that because they got sensitive equipment. So that will have to be factored in, you know, or moved. I don't think that would be horrible to have to have them moved. You, but you can't move them, they get too many fiber on exactly, exactly. Yeah. No, right. and those are the things seal it off with plastic or something like you're doing asbestos removal, you know, or something. Yeah, yeah. So are you guys thinking that the plastic ceilings and walls have to come down? And re sheet rock everything, or okay. we don't know yet. I mean, for the top floor, we yeah. up yeah. on the second floor, we don't know. Um, we it, it might be you can maybe strap it, you know. I mean, Larry's not Larry's looking at it. We're gonna send it. Gary up there and see if he falls to the there. ceiling. I've been up there, I'm not gonna you would if you stepped in a rock spot, definitely. <laughs> so, we, ha we had a meeting back at the end of July or so. I believe it was, oh, it was the 9th, August 9th that we had the meeting because then we met two, day, two days after that. Um, and that's when we, we were going through the building trying, trying to get things moving uh, because the select board asked what, what, what the status was. And we were in the building. We walked upstairs and we started noticing there's a lot more cracks up there. And we started looking at the walls we, uh, that's now, what we brought up. It's a lot, lot more meaning what in the last year? Well, it, we're look, basically we're talking about the walls right now. The walls are, it looks like they're cracking. It's plaster. Mm -hmm. It's not. It, what you're looking at is the, looking some kind of coming a, down from the there is a, No, it's some kind of a, they put almost like a, a they put like a burlap wallpaper on it. Oh, yeah. To the plaster or whatever's behind that. Course, course, but what course. is peeling off? Yeah. They did like paper mache with old newspapers. Yeah, like my house. I mean, I've never seen it. It's like it's wallpaper with newspaper. Yeah. They paper mache it to the burlap. So and now he's going to moisture it. That's coming. Yeah. And, and the you paper, right over it. <laughs> well, you could, yeah. Well, you'd have to find the stuff. So for whatever reason, it's starting to separate. Yeah. So in other words, we didn't plan on like, you know, that dressing up the walls because right. you know now it's going to be falling off in sheets you know yeah, yeah. so okay. I mean, so this is a, a new it's not item real, that's yes, come up in a lot right. of it, years like i said i don't know about the structural part it doesn't look yeah it, it doesn't work we, there's no big hunks of plastic coming yeah, out yeah. plaster but it's but it's whatever it looks the, like heck because the paper is starting to yeah you know yeah, we we thought when we were in the library we thought because we still noticed that too yeah. uh we noticed some Stuff coming down from the yeah uh, dust and stuff. Well, down. You know, from that pit, the molding up top, yeah, and that yeah. does and whatever it is. But we thought it had something to do when they were working on nine the vibration vibration. I mean, that's just the way they designed yeah. it, but kind of balloon frame. But yeah, you know, I went over and pulled off a piece. I'm like, you know, it's this plaster. And it's like behind it's like all yellowed old paper. Hope it's not asbestos to carry. No, it's no. no. If you, no, can, it's you know, if you read paper. some of the articles and stuff. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, like, it's, like, yeah, it's multi layers of paper. It's it, just, I, I've never, I think the paper mache it, 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 is, well, I mean, is paper, it's what like it paper looks mache. like. They like glued it. I'm not sure of what okay, wallpaper paper. So, yeah. so, anyways, the bottom line is Larry's going to figure out how to do it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. yeah. We have, so, we, may we, have, have we can't just paint it. Right. Yeah. yeah it's, if you paint it, it's going to get wet and 
Well, now, it's worse. even if you skim coat it at the bottom, is the base is bad. You don't yeah. want to skim coat it, waste your time. But we talked about should we tip, tip remove? The wall material so we can insulate, but you don't sometimes you don't want to insulate those type of buildings. Let them breathe. Put. Let them breathe. Yeah. <laughs> it, they, well, I mean, he was trapped moisture. Right. He, he was pretty happy with the way, as far as like the HVAC stuff goes. Yeah. A, a lot, lot of stuff. Know, adding a couple yeah. of split yeah. units in certain areas to beef it up. Yeah, actually, uh, I, I think that the original you know, floor had a, had a big number for HVAC back, and I don't think you really need no, that. He said, no, he said, yeah, I mean, we've got. The HV, the split units are they're they're reasonable. They're fine now. I mean, a couple of them you know, are getting up there in age, but and the get the gas furnace, you know, it, yeah, it'd be great to upgrade it, but you can't touch the gas. So now you've got the basic. Those things will supplement it. Keep us going for five years, right? And a lot of this, the offices we got going in there, a lot of them are going to be full time. Yeah, you know, so it's one of those things right. where somebody comes in, you can bump on one, turn right. it up a little bit, and that maybe you might be able to save money because he budgeted stuff in phase one. For upgrading right. that, we may not have to do all of that. So there's some money you can put into the walls and see what we need. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, all the um, engineers that he had come look at it for electrical, plumbing, mechanical, all all said good good stuff about it. That you know we're not yeah. It's, just, it's, not not what what's there is good is yeah. yeah just add a little more. They're not, yeah. The bump, yeah, scaring us that we're going to have a more balanced problem. So. Yeah. Great. So, I mean, the hope is that, you know, we'll, we'll be able to even start on phase two well, maybe next summer. No. That's what the hope is. Well, uh, be, that's, uh, that's we'll be done with phase one by its next summer. Yeah. Well, uh, the <laughs> hope is that we can get well, phase well, one done. It'd be great to get it going this summer. Well, the thing is, if, we, if next summer we have phase one underway right. and people are moving into the first floor there, and we have a good, uh, solid idea of what this thing is. You know, the design work is done. Some of it is done. If we go and then we to go to the town with with this full package, then we'll, and so if, we can, it, if it does go out the bid, say in October, yeah. or November first, yeah. it should. What are what are the steps? How long is it out the bid before the bids come back? It's yeah, like usually less than a month. You okay. should get the bids back. Yes. And with the day to start, and whenever. So it December, should be the beginning of the December year. December first. Bid should be back and maybe awarded in January. Yep. Well, hopefully, yeah, could in, a, be, in a perfect world. Yeah. yeah they could, and that's what our hope is. They could it's start really inside, inside works. The guy's going to jump on it. Yeah. 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 This could be done by someone. Yes. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's what I'm thinking that if we can get keep pushing on phase two, we can get phase one done and get possibly started on phase two sometime in the summertime. Now, are you talking about? Um, incorporating into phase one any phase two work like the like the, like the, the, the foundation slab or something like that. Well, the foundation is part of it, but I am wondering if because the prices and everything else, I don't think you're going to get the foundation. Might be difficult. To yeah, that's what I think too. And that would be the second, yeah. the one thing that would pull out yeah. as. as I'm saying, if there's something option. we have to do in phase one to make phase two possible, that's one thing. But if it's just something. That we could do, but we don't have. Well, to that's do. what that's why he kind of laid it out. So we're not going back and add another panel after we just put right. one in. Exactly right. So yeah, like we want everything done yeah. so we can just so we don't have to go back into phase one to right. do anything. We don't want phase yeah. two. We don't want to go in. Sounds phase. good. My concern is that second floor ceiling. If it's you know it's it's going to have to be dealt with at some point, and I don't think it's you know it's an old plaster ceiling. Yeah. Well, I, I, it's got to, it's plastic. It's got to fit into phase one or phase two. Right. I, I'm concerned that it has to fit into one of those phases. Right. It no, it will. Be, yeah, it needs to be taken care of. You're not gonna. No. We you want to put new walls up. Ideally, we walls do phase and have one. ceiling. Ideally, on one. yeah. Ideally, we want to at least put the, the demo of it. That I just don't, think, especially if you're doing knob and taking out the old knob. Right. Well, that was. The biggest part of phase one was fix the ceiling and move the knob. Oh, tube that's right. The knob tubing is, is that up in the ceiling? Yes, the it goes all the way up the front. So aren't we going to have to take that that's, ceiling down anyway? Well, Not you can do the wiring no. from top, but oh, just no, make we can get a, Oh, just leave it in place and just replace no, it. No, you can't leave it can't in place. Can't leave it in place? No. Nope. Yeah, you have, have to else. remove it. Insurances do not want oh. it stay. You got so how do you do that without taking the ceiling down? But you, you do it from the end. You, oh, you, you do it from you, the top. Okay, yeah. carefully. Yeah. Plenty of space up there, but the, yeah. it's the, the structural integrity of the ceiling that I would, I mean, that's the part that's going to fall right. on it. I mean, Larry Larry looked at it, he talked about, you know, 
maybe like a small, like a type of suspended type thing or strapping it and going over it. I mean, he's, you know, that's, I'm, they're looking at it. Yeah. I mean, if it, it we could take take, take the plaster off and do a suspended ceiling. Over. Yeah, if you take taking the plaster off, I think is probably the most important step to so right. get the weight. You don't, off right. of it. you don't want. When you leave the lath there. I don't care if you strap it right. up, right. whatever. Yeah, it's but like getting the plaster right. off right. of it. You can so even restore the the skylights and have a vaulted ceiling in there. Although the there's wiring and all kinds of crap. Well, in that to do that, you got to tear apart the roof and put them back in the roof. Yeah, I'm not I'm just <laughs> <laughs> the gut, the gutters are still up there for the inside of the. Sky. Oh, it's no kidding. Thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know the, the I mean, roof is, is good forever, right? It's a metal roof over there, right? No, no it's still slate. slate. Oh, it's it's still slate. Yeah, oh, it's yeah. Good, good shape. Hey, we took good care of that building. Yeah, it'll be good for a long time. That, yeah. that roof is pretty good shape. Yeah, well, slate's a hundred year roof. Because well, the fasteners that are always the problem with slate. Well, I, I you know, my answer anytime that plaster gets wet. It's going to start to let go, yeah. and that's the last thing you need is for no. I mean, that's, that's, that's a bunch of money in the address, building, especially yeah. especially if you're going to be up there insulating them. But we don't want to put any more weight up there, and something's not going to hold it. Right, and again, so, as long as that gets figured into this, you know, and you do need to insulate that ceiling because you're going to have that's where the offices are going yeah. to be. So you need to kind of keep, even though they're high, you need to put something in there to keep some of it in. Okay, but. Um, you know, we. Uh, my thought is that we're probably going to start having monthly meetings, so we can guys can keep abreast of what's going on with Goodwin and what have you. Um, things are starting to move forward now. <laughs> any, any more? Well, the only thing I, I would say about this. Um, ceiling upstairs. If it, if the plaster has to come down, we should try to get it down in phase one. Yeah. Yes. To get it, yeah. get it down, even if nobody can be in that second floor um, until it's finished. Um, but get all yeah, the right, demo right. or the dust and crap right, out of that right. that we can now. Don't go bringing garbage over new stuff like that. Yeah. Right. So, but. Then again, we came up short on the money to start with. You know. Well, like I said, what will be cut will be the foundation for okay. phase two. Yeah, right. Most likely, that's probably where we're going to go so we can do more up on that second right. one. Right. We want to get, we we need that space up there. Well, yeah, get it's, the original it's, building right. good. We, we, yeah, we need to. And we then need we'll to well, well, have the heat is not going anywhere, so they have to stay up there. They're yeah. staying up there, but yeah. you know, Park and Rec plans are to move them over there. Uh, cemetery committee is almost in phase. Oh, you know, know. Park and Rec. Everybody else can wait. Planning board. Well, you know, happen. I mean, the town hall's all messed up now because they moved everybody around again over there. So we've got to really. <laughs> the, the, and the meeting rooms are really after good. Thanksgiving dinner. Yes. My belt's about ready to let go. Okay. So um, I was hoping that Joyce would be here. She could tell us She's, a little bit. About, she might come later. Yeah, she said that she might. Do you know any more about Russell School? Where things are? Dave, talking to your son. <laughs> no, um, we had a brief conversation, and he asked if we we're going to discuss that. And I said, "Well, the parking lot portion mm. was. I think we had it in here. Where are we going to move forward? My opinion is we shouldn't move forward until we know what's going on with Russell School." It's kind of a waste of money. If well, put it in a parking right. lot and then uh, who knows, a couple years down the road, what's going to happen? Or maybe it's 50 years down the road because everybody <laughs> has a different opinion. Are we keeping the, the building? Are we knocking it down? Are we uh, renting it out? Or or what? Um, I don't know. I, to me, it's silly to build a parking lot until you know. Well, the park, whatever you do with the building, gonna, somebody's going to need parking. Right, but... If well, you're going to go and turn it over to uh, an outside concern to do the building, maybe part of the parking would be, or just wouldn't fit in. Well, I know the other day, I almost got rear-ended trying to back <laughs> yeah. out of the parking. I, I agree. The it's, needed, but it's dangerous. It needs to be changed. It's still being used. And no matter what, those parking spaces have to go away at some point. Yeah. No, I, I agree with all that. And I just like to see... You know, we've already we've been talking about Russell School 
I've been here, what, two or three years, 10 years, and it's the same conversation. And the selectmen, I guess maybe we need to come up. Are we we're supposed are they waiting for us for a recommendation? I don't know. I thought they were they've been well, doing they, some survey. Just, just just yeah, to back up a little bit. Um, you know, they did after we met, I think it was like a year ago in September, we kicked it around, we went back to the select board and told them some ideas. You know, remember the ideas, and we didn't vote to push it ahead. We just said, here's some things we could do. We could go uh, RFP to see if there's any interest in taking the building, which they did do, okay? I know. Plus, unfortunately, that went nowhere, but they did it, at least, the select board, which was good. Uh, the other thing was to um, think about asking the CPA for, like, to button up the building better. And, and that's, again, that's that that's table. That, yeah. not, well, we got good one to worry about. Get that done first then. And then the other thing, um, which has been kicked around, which again, nothing has happened so far, except the historical commission is getting involved a little bit now, which is to have some kind of um, a public forum or some survey or something just to get the sense of the town about, even though we can't maybe make a recommendation that we should sell the building or rent it or knock it down or whatever, uh, we should try to at least involve a larger segment of the population to at least inform them of what the issues are and what some of the options are. I mean, totally and, agree. And, yeah, got it. I know they so. went over there. I took them through. Yeah, the they they um, yeah. are working on like some kind of a video. A dog and pony show a video. Yeah. Pre, yeah, something like you did, I think, with the Hooker School before. Yeah, exactly. That kind of thing. Yeah. But but the idea is just to say, here's the history of the school. I mean, they, to get people to start talking about would you can, I mean, what here's there's a range of options. Which ones do you like? Not that the town has to do that, but at least to get some sense. And, and, uh, um, well, we have a we've been, we've been talking about this uh, a year and a half ago. We had a subcommittee, yeah, and, and I was honest. And, and what, what happened with that? I, was there a, um, I sent something around about what we could do, and I mean, did they did the RFP? Did we get that? Well, um, you, I think he, yeah, he, you well. emailed something out that you kind of worked on yeah. by yourself, and then you got to beat up for. I got beat up by this guy here, yeah. and uh, some other people. And that's fine, fine, but that's that's okay. Yeah, so, so we could just be... trying to find out. Yeah. Okay, so and that was because I guess COVID started. So yeah, you, that you that kind of took the ball. And, yeah, we all were down to like three members of the committee. And, but so yeah, just, you lost most. Yeah. Of yeah. The, the committee basically dissolved because yeah. a bunch of the committee members were. You know, it got busy, it got COVID. Yeah. Some people said it was just too much for their schedule, yeah. and the committee just sort of dissolved. Yeah, okay, so nothing really went to the select board. really happened. No, well, we, I mean, we, the select board still wants to, I think, and I've talked to a couple of them. I, mean, I don't know if you want to wait and come back to this at the end and see if Joyce should. No, I think we should. Just um, keep on talking, sure. Um, they, I think what they want to do is come up with, you know, here's what it's going to cost to tear it down. Yes, we talked about that. Here's yeah. what it's going to cost. To mothball it, it, right. to do this, it. you know, we've got nobody that's they had they went out. And I know I showed it to one person, he says, There's no way in hell I can yeah. see anybody doing this. Um, yeah, I, yeah, Barry, the other guy that was interested, Barry, and he never came and even looked at it. Um, Barry gave him a proposal, and they didn't, but they didn't like there's two things about it, but his proposal. Which was one that he wanted to buy the building, and, the, and right now, the top the select board. Uh, not the town necessarily, but the select board does not want to sell the building. They want to, they don't want to sell the corner. I, yeah. I, well, I, I don't blame them for that. The, that the, the land is worth more than that building. Exactly, right. So that's I mean, the we dilemma. We have three out of the four corners. Right. That's the dilemma. That's right. right. And it's also right. the yeah. entrance yeah. to the high school because that's, and if you don't yeah. believe it, nobody I mean, goes in and out. Gotta, you, somebody's going to come up, and I don't know where you can come up with this because I looked at all kinds of different examples all over the, the state. And selling is the, uh, the 99% of the old schools and town halls that get renovated privately, okay, uh, with, you know, tax credits and all, all kinds of stuff that they can make it work, are sold, okay? There was only one that was leased that I could think of. I think it's the East Hampton Town Hall. Mm -hmm. So it's not impossible, but you got to really beat the bushes and you got to have people who want it. You have to a lot of money. Well. Yeah, you know, and well, the other two, don't forget. Yeah. You, you know, we can sit here and decide, oh, yeah, let's sell it and make up all these grand but things. You can't make it happen. Right. There's a lot of other steps beyond this committee yeah. and the select yeah. board. And if, if North Hadley yeah. Hall is any example, yeah. Joke. It's, it's not going to come. It's not. It's never going to happen. It's going to deteriorate until the thing just falls down. 
Right. So, I mean, in my opinion, you know, it, you, know it, you really, you really should look at like, we still have money somewhere to fix the, you know, take the chimney down and, and fix the roof still hasn't been done. Okay. And, you know, here's an example. If, we had like, I forget what the money is. 10,000. If, you know, if, it will if, only do repairs on one side. I mean, the cost of prevailing wage has gone so far out of sight. Sure. But if you don't do something with it, it's not going to be it's not going to be, right. it's not know, gonna be salvageable. And you're yeah. asking for money for Goodwin. Yeah, I know. It's That's a good, good building. Yeah. And I agree with you. North Adley Hall, I mean, it's if still. It's any, if it's any example as to how this town will go, and I'm, I'm telling you right now, the three buildings we just put up are heading down the same path. Oh, absolutely. Because, you know, I've been talking to the people who, who are in these buildings. And they're like, we don't know what the maintenance plan is. Yeah, exactly. no maintenance plan. Plan. Here, I'll show I you the maintenance. Find... the maintenance plan. This building has the same budget as the Hooker School. Group. Yeah, but the that's good, not a maintenance. The plan. library they're has the same building time. maintenance budget as the good one. They're having a hard time communicating with with town to who's in charge. What's the protocol when we need to do this? Who's you it, know? It, what's the the protocol? Is there's not enough money? I, I mean, the building. The building budget, the building maintenance budget ran out of money like four months before the end well, of the year. Well, his, his, what we need is what, what they're telling me is what they need is they need a protocol to find, you know, we, we need to know how, the, what's the change supposed to be when we have, you know, who's in charge of the maintenance contract for this issue. And, you know, this, this building's out of warranty. That one's not, but it's going to be out of be. warranty. And, oh yeah, we've got know, we've got service contracts and stuff. With well, that, that's buildings. that's one important. But what's the protocol? Yeah. Who fills out the form and where does the form but go? Is there is there any paper trail like work order system or something? You know, like yeah, whoever is in this building, all of a sudden, well, we got a flickering light or a door. Yeah, is I mean, very we, high. You know, we, I mean, there's you. We come and have people take care of. The problem is, and we've been asking for this since the first. You gotta ask for more money. Ten years ago, right? We asked for two hundred thousand yeah. dollars. You know, we don't have money to replace a boiler in the police station when it cracks. Yeah, right. Oh, okay. I and understand that's the, that. You know, but that's, that's the same story as, you know, you know, we've always heard. Right. It's never enough money or they take it and they burn well, it somewhere. Part of the but problem is we don't ask became, for it. That's why this committee became into it, yeah, to right, try to straighten right. us out. We've been and trying to get straight, to put, you know, extra money in. But they can't was, do it. If there was I'm a, not a sure. work order system. There is a work order system. Okay. Well, nobody's tracking it. Nobody's tracking it then because if things... Uh, if, if what he's saying is true, that people don't know um, how to go about getting things done, well, they should know that there's a work order system. Well, and if there's a work order system, I don't know who's saying that because I mean, here we've got the BG finally came around. The problem is trying to deal with the stuff on getting. Oh well, you got to go up for three prices on this, and you got to go up yeah, for no, that, that's no we don't. We've that's asked three people; two people didn't even respond. Well, well this, this, this is a normal this, state. This, 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 to me, there's, there's three problems. One is service contracts for just keeping things running like changing filters okay and i think this building's got some of those we just got i talked to haley about it we just and, got that yeah. side and, yeah. and, and and i said send this to patrick because he needs to now lobby for getting service contracts for their hvac to the library's hvac system that's the main thing they need a service contract i mean we've had it since yeah. the, with the police station right. so we can get that got the new stuff we, well we can do it the, the problem then is who is paying for it and where's the money coming the problem from? is so that's like say for this building i, I think it's roughly around six thousand dollars for every, all the sort of all the for the contracts. hvac oh okay yeah okay sounds about right all right so that's we didn't have that over at the russell school i mean the booker school right it was i think the boiler company guys came and they worked on it and that was probably you're dealing with the we same are. money over there as you are here but let's we're talking about things that we've talked about so many times there's discussions with carolyn right now how can we do this better better yeah. she wants it done better yeah. we didn't do it well the town did not do it well and one of the Discussions that we had is we got to get it out of the EPW, and she totally agrees with it. It's got to be a separate entity, and it's got to be under the purview of the town administrator. And I, I fully support that. I it's a, I think these well, that's are the thing same. is that, that the both people that I spoke to said Gary's the only guy that we can count on. Yeah. Yeah. To, it, one but, moment, he's only, but he's only one guy. Yeah. One moment, please. So, I, I think that Carolyn wants this committee to work and support something like that 
And we said, the only person we have right now is Gary. He does well in it, but he needs some support on one, doing it, and getting some type of program together with regard to the buildings. And that is something this committee can do. We, we can look at every budget. single bill. Right. He needs a budget. He needs a... Well, we can, the, wait a minute. Yeah. Yes, we know that. But there is upfront stuff that we can put together that helps with the budget. This is a good if plan. we come up with yeah, something that each building budget. requires sure. right. and all the stuff that's needed with an estimate on each building, yeah. This is what it's going to take to maintain these buildings exactly. throughout a year. Go to time this is what needs to be done and how we can review these buildings yeah. and come up with an estimate. She's going to fully support it on town meeting floor. Right. 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 The, the finance school committee suffers first. in the rest of the building as far as maintenance. Yes, this, the schools don't have to jump through half the hoops that I... Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, I it's a why. totally separate... Okay, so how many buildings are you talking about? Okay. I have to deal with or you should be dealing with if there was money to deal with it. Yeah. I mean, well, the other part is like the sewer building and the water building are kind of on their own, not me, but mm -hmm. you got the DPW, um, Town Hall, Russell, um, Goodwin, the new library, the new senior center. Was that least fire? The new fire station. Sorry, like seven, seven, eight. Seven, eight, yeah. Okay, so seven, eight buildings. That certainly justifies a couple of guys <laughs> no shit. are doing maintenance. <laughs> Hey, exactly. And, and right. But but that, that's I mean that's a big part of it. And that's I mean what Gary does, Gary doesn't change the filters on the HVAC system. Maybe I have. Started. I I you have I've but, done, yeah. yeah. I mean I do oh. them down at the to town hall, stuff yeah. like that. Oh, right. It's the older stuff like that. But these newer systems you need that service. It's contract. not just sir, it's not just that. Those guys are checking belts, they were putting that's a contract for us. We well, I see that happening as service contracts for, to those systems and, and an associated budget for that. Who administers it? Maybe it's town administrator, maybe it's building mates. I don't know. Well, but no, we have a set contract. You got to check on yep. it because we've had them. Well, right. Of course. Yeah, yeah. You have to make sure. Other, sure. The other thing that we're talking about isn't the, the service contracts, like the annual inspections and changing stuff. Up. It's what happens when a light bulb goes out? What happens, you know, when, when a doorknob falls off? You know, it's that kind of thing. Gary does that now, but he's, I mean, like you say, it's one guy. He's, he's also got the cemetery, so you can't just keep asking yeah. Gary. Do stuff. No, and, 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 and I mean, I know he loves you, but yeah. And, and we need some something on paper to say this is what needs this to what be we done need. and how so it's done. Maybe, maybe this conversation should be another meeting. Yeah, this yeah, is that. Yeah, this yeah. Is a, this but the, of, the I, ultimate goal is we've got to have some some proposal you know, program with a budget. A simple thing is it's been level funded for several years. Okay, now going back to your service contracts. Okay, you can level fund your budget. That's fine. But all your service contracts go up every year. Yeah. You know, your elevators. I mean, the elevators get inspected. They come out twice a year. It's a contract. You have to have it. You know, they inspect it. That's the, you don't, you know, when you say you've got this amount of money in your household budget, your checkbook, and, that's and all of a sudden all these other ones go up, that's 20%. less than you've got now for the, whatever else is needed. And that's what's happened. Those budgets have been really cut more than 50% over the years because all the contract costs have gone up yeah. quite a bit. And it needs to be addressed. We and so the question is, do we take it on? Who else is going to do it? Well, nobody. Nobody. Do you, yeah, I don't do think we have to solve the problem. No. Not solve it. I don't no. know, we have to make a recommendation. Yes, right. right. They need a recommendation. Yeah, we've been kind of trying to do that. Yeah, you know, we that yeah. two hundred thousand was floating around. Years ago, but we somebody's going to sit down and write yeah, it out. You know, when you're boiler, nobody wants to act on it. Yeah. You know, and compiling the data for these buildings is going to take a couple of years to find out exactly. Well, what that's, the, that's the other thing. Understood. But I do know that, like I said, there again, when you take you know Hooker School, when the toilet broke, there was five in each bathroom. You turned one off, and yeah, you, know, you didn't have to follow the water. Yeah, out of order and go on. They can still go. There's a maintenance plan. There's a maintenance plan. But that's all you have for money. You get the same amount of money for this building. So now you just pull out a maintenance contract for the HVAC and then the doors. You know, it, 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 there's only so much. You know, I'm, yeah. I keep asking Snap on if he's got the magic wand in the toolbox of the truck, but he doesn't have it. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. so... Uh, you know, yeah, we've done quite a bit of it in the past. We now we got a couple, new, a few new buildings, and we now 
review and figure out what the costs are to go ahead. And we just have to put it back together and, and get it towards the select board. Yeah. So we can uh, bring it forward. Think, uh, it's important because these buildings are getting used. This one's getting yeah. used. I talked to the, to the library director today, and he said, yep, the numbers are definitely up. We're definitely doing more business than yeah. we've done before. And that's once, a great once all this behind us, those, these buildings are going to blow up with use. Mm -hmm. Well, we, we got to come up with a um, list of every, every possible thing that Gary and crew, even if it's one guy, yeah. might have to do. Yeah. Like right now, these walls are in decent shape, yep. but not great already because it's new. You give it three years, mm -hmm. well, well, that's going to be a, all stuff. A perfect up. example of you know, not and doing anything with the budget is the police public safety complex. Yeah. They didn't paint it. They didn't change the carpets. Yeah. I, I don't know if they even waxed the floors until like 20 years later. There was no money to take care of. You know, they built a new building. So then it no becomes, money a, it's a, cap, becomes a capital expense instead of a maintenance of yearly expense. Well, yeah, I mean, perfect example was what, I don't know, I was here two or three years when I came back, and the boiler cracked, like a, a week before Christmas, two cracks in it. It was, I think it was, I forget, sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 at the time to replace the boiler we went to gas. There was, there was no money in the budget to change the boiler. Up. Sure. You know, I mean, you, you, you know, like, you know, capital, will you, you know, if you can tell me when the boiler is going to quit working and crack, you're not going to be working here. You're going to be out making some good money. And I mean, I, I think Carolyn knows what the issue, you know, how to handle all this and what needs to be done. She definitely wants us, but she needs help. Well, but, you know, it's like, it's like, oh, it's like the CPA. You can go to the CPA with some kind of idea, you know. And they'll give you, they'll show you the door because they want to see a plan. They want to see a design. You know, you went through this, okay? Oh, you know, and, I went through it. Yeah, you went through it, and I've gone through it. And so if you come to them with something that's kind of half, at least halfway thought out yeah. and on paper, then you got a chance of getting it through. Yeah. It's the same thing with town meeting sure. and a select board. You got to come to them with some facts and figures. No, we, we did and that with just $700,000. We got all those quotes and put it together and yeah. we got the money. And exactly. Money. We're just gonna do and that I think thing. we can do the same thing, yeah. get this thing through. I think there is certainly the consensus of the residents out there. Now we got new oh, yeah, we'll Let's do maintenance. Yeah. So we're not in to the, what we had right. before. But don't and, give me a figure. I think if we out put something here. good together, we, we shouldn't be that. going for, you know, prop two and a half override to get it. No. You know. The maintenance, it's just it should, yeah. there should well, be a budget there, there for that. Be There's in. X amount of money. I don't know where they're going to take it from and put it into building maintenance. Well, well that's the hire for building maintenance, not for highway, right? Where's no, you? originally I was half and half. Oh, you were? And what are you now? How much time are you putting in? Now I'm on, now I'm on the highway, cemeteries, and everything you're doing is cemetery and, and here. Building. So you, you do the mowing and whipping and all no. that? Stuff? No, Who, who's doing all that? That's contracted still. So. Right. Oh, for the cemeteries? Yeah. Not for the town, not for the common. Do we have contractors for the common? No. No, oh, that's you, that's the cemeteries. No, 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 cemetery. Cemeteries, no, that, the mowing still is contract. Okay, so how much time do you have to put in cemetery work? It depends on how many burials, how many stones have to be set. I mean, this year was a, we were on a record pace. With really? This, oh, yeah. yeah. See, I'm, I'm not involved in that anymore. Yeah, I mean, Partly because of COVID, just people that died are being held over until this year. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, all right. So requests. everything else is whatever the buildings need. You're running around doing. And oh yeah. Whatnot. Um, you know. And the only time you're yeah. for highways when it's snow, snow and not plowing. Yeah, okay. I do a little bit. Yeah, a little plowing. Mm -hmm. So at least, but it's not every time is going. One FCE is not enough. Oh, no, no, it not, enough. not for this. I don't care how good that on buildings. I don't care if you got three new ones or not. Yeah. I mean, you could use, you know, you, you, can use you can't do really work. You're too busy. Yeah, and don't forget, like you said, you get a contract, like, them, you know, some, when they go mow, you got to go and you got to make sure they mow everything. And you're not knocking not, not the door. Exactly, so you know. <laughs> you know, so you can't do, you can't start painting a building and then right. run and let somebody in to, you know, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. change out an electric strike lock. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll, a bunch of this stuff came, you know, the, the billing committee came into, you know, into reality because because of the maintenance issues right. or the lack thereof. Right. Mm -hmm. Lack of maintenance. And, you know, if, if anything were to be said about Russell School, it's like, just patch the damn roof. 
so that it will be worth buying next year. So, you know, and the sooner, it, you know, we wouldn't be a committee about buildings if we couldn't recommend to patch the damn thing up so that it can be saleable. If you don't do anything before this winter, it's gonna, it's the, the, the thing's gonna start to collapse on its own. And, you know, that's another cost right there. And, and that's my opinion, I, you know, it's a start building it should be saved. Somebody else is going to save it. It's not going to be this town. You know, well, there again, you're talking about selling. I mean, I'd like to see the select board come up with a, whether it's a three, you know, ABC, and forget the town meeting or how it's got to be, meeting, let the or town go to the, bring it to the ballot and well, let the people vote on yeah, it. Yeah, the people vote. You know, they, all they want to do is, but they, they've here, elected you, to do you that take it, for you how take many it. years now? How many years has it been since well, anybody I, decided? And then you go years. back to the North Abbey Hall. Yeah, there was a vote. Remember, the North Abbey Hall came down to, are we going to demolish it or sell it? Okay. Yeah. And yeah. we and, recommended and, to sell it. And they couldn't do that right now. Now it's yeah. almost demolishing itself. Right. Well, I mean, that, that happens. But I mean, at least there was a decision made. Okay. And the decision well, yeah. made, we're not going to, we're not going to. How long ago was the decision made to three sell? Three years. Right. And, and, and more than three. You know, it, it, okay, it's so they, just it's indicative of what's going to happen to that building. Yeah, is it, isn't that building? Uh, but the, do they close or aren't they very close to closing? Yeah, I mean no. they did. They did have. They have two guys who want to build do something with that building. Right. The, problem, lawsuit, is, the isn't problem isn't that they don't want to do it. It's the legal crap that they got. Stuck they're in a lawsuit. Well, they're in land court right now, yeah. and they yeah, don't know. Is, yeah. Land court so messed up, like yeah. every other court, that. It could be three, four, six months before they yeah. even get to hear it. Yeah, but that, I mean, that we have no control over that. But the town d does have control and did have control over, you know, what, what a path forward is. And the path forward was sell it to somebody. And they did. They sold it to one guy and then he backed out or there was a problem or whatever. Well, that that's, well, that's, 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 that's the problem. The lawsuit. And then, and then no, they, the, there was one before that. Yeah, Haranis was the guy. No, oh, no, was another was, guy. The guy across the street. Yeah. We well, put a bid in, yeah. But, yeah Joel, but, Joel put a he put a perfect, yes, perfectly <clears throat> viable the town was solution. negotiating with him, oh. and mm -hmm. the town kept saying, How about this? Yeah, exactly. And he would that, agree, yeah. and how about this? Yeah. And he would agree, and then yeah. the town says, Yeah, time's up. So that is on the town, okay? Yeah, right, is, yeah, right. Or whoever the hell it was who was in charge of the negotiations. I hope it wasn't a goddamn lawyer who paid an exorbitant amount of well, money to do nothing, but. I think that there was a path forward. The problem is, if up. you don't have guidance to start with, if you don't yeah. find out the way you're supposed to do something, yeah. that's what happens. The lawyers. Yeah. Well, it's just, like when you know, somebody just, dies just, in your family yeah. and the kids start yeah. fighting, the lawyers yeah. get all the money, just and when like, they're left, just, they got nothing. Just like the fact that you, there's not a two Garys, there's only one Gary, and, and, and you spread too thin. Same thing with the administration over there. Well, who is it? Who, who does stuff like that? So, Nobody. Uh, Carolyn and Jen and so who else? Let, There's nobody let, over there. Let me ask. We'll go back to this thing that Tim put out in print. So what are we going to do as far as um, finalizing the rest of the school recommendation from this committee? Did we come up with anything? Or in the past, you went to a meeting with a select board a month ago or something. Well, finalize what, though? Nothing's been decided. Well, well, well I think, we're, yeah, like I said, we need to come up well, with a three- Case scenario, uh, right. and that's putting it forward. That's what I think. Well, we, 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 yeah, I'm sorry, but we were going to. We, I think we did decide that we should at least try to find, get some information on how much would it cost to stabilize the building, and how much would it cost to demolish the building, because those are two hard choices that you could then present to the town. But it, it has to be in the context of well, what else would you support? Would you support CPA money into the building? Would you support selling it versus leasing it? Well, so to get a sense of the town. My motion would be that the, this board, this committee, supports the select board and and putting together some type of vote for the residents, some type of whatever for the residents to to put Way down in. what they like to see, and yeah. then see whether what it's a non-binding vote or yeah, a non-binding or a. Right, but it's going. But who's going to formulate and the, try to get that out and give put a date down? Well, okay, I I, I'm, I I think that's a that's good, but I would say there's got to be an intermediate step, which is you have to educate the people. Okay, you can't just say, do you want to knock it down or keep it up? Well, I, mean, we have well, to I have, think once you put once yeah. you put it forward at a town meeting, or whatever, 
You're gonna then you're gonna start having your town meeting. Yeah, yeah but we got stuff. We have to have a public. Right. It has to be a forum. Yeah, there forum, should be a forum, like or yeah. at least a you know to try to avoid the forum because it does turn into this huge argument. Well, and, the, the and forum on a written survey, and well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you know, a the forum is only the people that show up at the forum. Right. right. We can do both. A couple of opinions. You can do both. You can do a forum and a survey. Right. You, can do a, right. you gotta go. We can have A, B, and C, mm -hmm. D, E, F, whatever you want. But the point is. With each one, you have to have a cost. Yes, exactly. Yeah, or at least a ballpark for years. Oh, that's all. Uh, that's you know, that's all great. Yeah. I understand all of that, and I appreciate right, it. Because people aren't gonna. You can't vote. But the fact of the matter is, the time is time is ticking. On the roof. I don't know how many roofs I've fixed and repaired and replaced since I've been on this committee, and the kind of water damage that happens in a very short amount of time. Yep. And, oh, yeah. It, yeah, and, it's, and you know, I will hold this committee and everybody on it responsible if the roof doesn't get fixed. Yeah, that that money we took to fix the roof, that was what we spent on it the last time, which is probably six or seven years ago. Right now, it will only do one side. That's I don't care much. to do one side. All I want to do is one hole. Just give me one hole. Just fix and, the hole where it's leaking. I don't care the, about a whole side. I mean, that's like, you know, waxing your car before you bring it to the junkyard. I mean, they need to get up. If you're going up, the problem is like, you know yourself, when you get set up over there, it's getting the guy there. You know, it's not like running up on your garage and throwing oh, all the power out. Yeah, get us you know, bring a lift over there and fix the one. They're bringing hole. in a huge. Right. Is there one hole? That's a, I, that's a problem. There's probably two or three holes, there's, but there's just fix the holes. I mean, well, last, and what I, we did I was we replaced stuff. slates. Okay, fix the slate. Last time we I can fix slate, and it doesn't take me long to fix slate. And I know what once it takes to fix slate. Up, once you get up there, and, and the biggest thing is getting up there. You know, okay, and, so, and doing it. We got money. So money money? For that? There's enough. Well, the last time I went back, there wasn't even enough to do one whole side. Okay, so and I was told to wait. If if, if there's money there, some money, can we do what he's saying? At least have somebody get up there and patch holes or well, I stop? I was told to hold off on that until they they don't want to spend any more money until they find out what direction they want yeah but see that's like that's like a chicken or egg kind I of i know problem. that mm -hmm. i understand yeah, so well, then, then if that's the case whoever told you that is going to be responsible for the demise of that structure look if it's if it's a top of 10 or twenty thousand dollars which we really would you which we actually had in our hand i don't know if we have any more it seems like that's a no-brainer you just do it because we are still trying to figure out what what the overall plan is. well don't forget it and, and if you we got in trouble for doing that well but who when we did the roof at the Booker School. Everybody brings that up, and I say bullshit on that. Yeah. What do you it's a completely different situation. Agree. And, you know, the, the, what do you mean? Why is we, it different? We put a 10-year roof on that because we knew we weren't going to use it for more than that. And it came down in, what, two years? Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, what about the, 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 the public safety complex? We, we put a metal roof on that guy way short of 25 years, okay? It was 17 years. That's the we you know normally when you put a roof on you you got to get twenty five years out of it, you hope we didn't get twenty look at this years. look at the library exactly if that's we get exactly seven, the same. we're gonna be lucky yeah so so if so that that happens okay you just gotta deal with it I mean I'm I'm a big favorite of this look I would take that roof off tomorrow not and put a metal roof on I would even though it's throwing money been, out, out, out the window I don't care yeah we didn't have the money now we have the money. I just want to salvage the building so somebody can buy it and be working. Yeah, for them. Russell, get back. I, Russell. But there again, is the little, town going to sell it? I mean, that's something. Yeah, 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 yeah. If they sell it, great. Then, then that means yeah. that it was worth buying. But if they don't fix the holes, the water damage but goes Dan, through. that's the fundamental question. No one wants to sell a corner. What do you do with the building? How can, well, can you come up you know, with some type My personal of, opinion, I would never sell that building. I would never I sell it. I would never you know, sell that property. It's town, it, and it, it's yeah. super historic, right. very unique. And, but that's only, I'm only one guy. But this is a lot of people. Right, right. That's that's the there are, there are, if you think outside the box, just to get on that subject, because that seems to be the holdup on, on Russell. If, you, if there's nobody out there who wants to take a long-term lease, and maybe three years ago they would have, but now with COVID and the economy, no. If that's not going to happen, and we tried, they did the RFP, they got one thing, no lease, sell. So if that's your option, only option, and if the town supports it, you can structure the sale so that you don't lose the, in other words, you're not giving it away necessarily. You have right of first refusal. If they ever decide to sell that property, we get a crack at it. 
or you know other restrictions because you know the worst thing that would be is we sell that building and the land and it burns down you know falls down whatever and then somebody's sitting there with a million dollar property and they put up dunkin donuts we, the town doesn't want to do that and we can protect ourselves from that by putting in covenants or restrictions on the sale and then people have done that so that you know you 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 buy it. We can do that, but don't forget we also have other restrictions on buildings right now. And we that was some of the problem with North Avenue Hollow. Yeah, that's true. Us. You know, you can't put condos in there because right now you're limited to two apartments. No, well, you know, so you, I mean you gotta you can so go to get a zoning yeah, thing, but they won't Barry, they Barry, give us yeah, one. yeah, we'd have to get zoning changes and stuff like that. The other problem that and Barry we tried that in North Hadley Hall. We tried to get them to change the zoning variance before we sold the property. It makes the property worth so, more. And so anyways, let's yeah. go back. Tim was gonna make a uh, a proposal a motion. A motion. Um, <laughs> um well we and then we got <laughs> killed yeah. 20 minutes ago. Well, and, and it's the, just the, is the, the <laughs> logistics behind it and how do we do it? I the only thing we have to get the consensus of the town somehow. Yeah, right. yeah we can sit here and argue it all yeah, day. Yeah, Everybody yeah. knows what we're doing. You got five thousand other people that are going to come up with a date. I've got. I mean, I can give you. I can give you a survey. I did. I did. I think I sent it around. I have a survey done. We could tweak it and play with it, and then we could get it out there. But I still think you need to have some kind of survey without any kind of. You got to have real numbers. Okay, so we want to sell it for X amount of dollars for the town income. Yeah. No, uh, yeah. 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 Do you, you want to just mothball and preserve it for town for future? Do you want to sell it? Do you want to lease a year for and here, are the call, and here are the costs. It's going to cost so much right. to right. Uh, right. put the, the numbers on yeah. there. So, yeah, let people make a decision. Right. right. So we need to get those numbers, okay? We could guess, we could look at other buildings, or we could hire somebody to that's what a feasibility study is for. We could hire somebody from cheap dollars, really. And they would say, okay, what I know about that building, you know, got the area reports, you got all kinds of reports. There'll be a million two to knock it down. Uh, um, unless, about that. Yeah, and that's what I think it will be, okay? And that's so assuming you, you don't find a hazardous waste dump in the basement. Well, we actually, this committee did a report like that yeah. like four or five years ago okay. with the pros and cons of all different da, Okay, things. dust it off and up, update it. So there's that building. Then there's, how much would it be to model? I think the number is about $208,000. Because of uh, based on the on titles, mm -hmm. updating the DRA report. Yeah. Okay, it's about two hundred thousand dollars. That makes sense. It's about yeah. there. About there. We had those numbers. Yeah. We gave it to the select board. Yeah. So we if we repackage it and say, and here's the survey. Here's the numbers. That our best get our best estimate right now of these numbers uh, to give people a sense of at least the relative costs uh, and, no. of these things. And then people will say, well, gee, it's going to cost us kind of a million dollars to. To knock it down, and it's going to be um, four hundred thousand dollars to mothball it. Maybe, yeah, but to mothball, mothball it, you still have to keep going. Yeah, yeah I understand. Well, you don't your hands and walk away. No, no, you, no, you, no, you don't. You try to market it. You try to sell it. If you're going to mothball it, that means putting really putting a, a, a complete asphalt roof on it. Well, and you're not gonna you're not gonna mothball it without doing that because no, the slates are gonna keep the two. Yeah, it's gonna and keep. It, and as it goes up. on, it's not gonna yeah. be ten a year. Which, which is, I mean, years. to me, that's reasonable. Yeah. To, to, to you know, because I I just did a roof on a school in Happyum, and it yeah, it it's yeah, a so bunch no, it's it, a bunch it, of money, but right. it's worth it. And it's it doesn't it doesn't last forever. But then the, 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 you get you need to get some, another party, a private party or a private public partnership thing yeah. involved, and they take it over and they pay for the. Okay, you know, so along with the price of mothballing, you also have to uh, say, okay, well, now we're going to mothball it, and then what are we going to do with it? So you got to have an answer to that because yeah. somebody's going to add. Which is you sell answer. it or you lease it or you, I mean. All that the, being said, yeah. this town still owns it, and the town should patch the holes in the well, neighborhood. No argument there. That, yeah. You know, so that's what been said, and we, I don't think anybody's. We can make the recommendation because it's a final money. But, but the thing is, I'm, I'm just trying to get across. If we have A, B, and C, you got to have a price with it. Yeah. But if you're going to say, okay, knock it down, and then what? Well, okay, are we going to have a green space with the gazebo right. and make a little park? Okay, so that's a possibility. And that could be the part of the survey. Okay. Um, if we're going to mothball it, what are you going to do with it? You, and just to say, well, we could sell it, that doesn't make you any sense because to do everybody that. just said, we don't we want to sell that chunk of land. Um, are we going to uh, rent it out for 50 years or 100 years? Well, nobody really wanted it. Um, and then 
in the condition it's in. That's right. the problem. And then well, 50, 50 years from now, never mind 100, is that building because it's um, obsolete? You know, I mean, how, how big is it? Yeah. If we get a little shake on the ground, is it going to be there for us up 50 years from yes. now, 100 years from now? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. You know, you know better than I do. Um, so, no, you know, there's, I mean, there's that's the problem. And sun reinforced masonry, so there's such limited use of what it can be. All right. So, yeah. your options. So, yeah. it, it, it's not just do we want to do this, this, or this. You got to have what this. Uh, you've got to explain cost, the cost, cost, and, cost, and if we're going to knock it down, no then what? No if we're going to mothball, well, you're not going how to long are we going to mothball? And what are we going to do with it? Otherwise, it's a waste. They had a survey uh, that came out, I don't know, five or 10 years ago. You want to do this? Do you want to do that? Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, all sounds good. But when well, those, now the next question is, do you want to pay for it? Yeah. No. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know, and half of the people in town are going to come up with the same mm -hmm. dumb thing that I just said. No. Yeah, I want all this, but right. not my know. taxes are yeah, going to go up to right. $20 a thousand. Yeah. You know, like, right. My thing is, it, you know, uh, it's it's just a historic structure and it, it's, you know, it fits into CPA money perfectly. It's exactly what CPA was designed to do yes. is save but, historic. But things. they don't have 30 million, I don't think. It, it, it. Not, that, that's it not safe. Sense. You know, I just want to preserve it. I don't care about saving it for. Well, the problem is you don't have an end game. Yeah. So, preservation is the is the end game for now. The end game is to make but sure for it doesn't fall down. To, until the next generation makes a decision, because we're too old to figure it out. <laughs> so, <laughs> that that you get your, uh, <laughs> proposal. Oh, yeah. All right. I mean, you know, we're an advisory board to the select board. I think, you know, I think, and I know they, a couple of them have talked about the same thing Tim's talking about. I think it's time to sit down with them and ask how they want to go about this. What's their, how they want to come up it's with this? It's not just their building, it's the town's building. And I think right, that's the survey. I'm talking about making, having them and us get together and put the survey out. So well, the town I think the historical survey. commission is working on some yes, stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm working with them on where the, you know, where they'll They're work. working on like, putting together something about the building which is fine and that's going to help gain in some, the long run. gain some interest in the yeah. actual structure. right but you also we still got to put something forward we've been kicking this around yeah. and I we can argue this because everybody survey, knows how everybody's going to vote yeah. right this I, I think a survey is, is is the best next step to do and um I, I if you if you guys want i will send you around the when i the draft yeah. when i drafted put something okay. together and you can take a look at it and say, oh, no, we don't want to ask this question, or we want to say, well, it, doesn't have, do, it doesn't have money associated with it. Why don't so we do this? Have, but I think, it's think about having another meeting, maybe on the 21st of September. Put down your thoughts, put down what you would like to see, and whatever you want to do, and we'll, we'll get it distributed on the 21st, and, and we'll give two weeks, and we'll go... And we'll, and we'll try to try to get some consensus it together. On the next step. I'm going to go it's back to all the files. Hmm? You're saying come up with some of how we should go about doing this you survey. Put your thoughts down in the building. All right, thoughts for a survey. Yeah, or the survey, or whatever, whatever right. you want. What do you I mean, think? Just tell us what we think about. Right. Whatever if you think. If you were king of Hamlet, what were the next three things you would do? With that so we can. Put it, consolidate it into something, yeah, and then <laughs> and then to, do it in, yeah. in two weeks, and then we can get it over to the select board. I vote we give it to uh, Dave and Alan for a dollar. <laughs> I'll I'll kick in the dollar, eat fifty cents. I'll each, take that building, and for they dollar. can own it, and they've got to redo it within ten years with their own money. I'll stand up at that. If you sell it, if you sell me that building for a dollar. We'd have to get some zoning changes. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Because the other, the other thing that Barry, uh, Barry would have done that building, okay? But he, on the sale, he would have put, uh, I think, six uh, uh, condos in there, okay? Uh, but I think screwed him besides the sale. And this is, I just, I'm hearsay, so it may not be any of the horse's mouth, was he wanted to have parking uh, little garages for his, uh, for the owners. Out and back where the ball field is. Okay. And I mean, jo Joyce, I mean, she's heard that. Nope, not going to happen. I mean, without even well, thinking I think that, through. that land's not part of that. That's well, it can be the same week. Same and it's also can. the floodplain. Yeah. So, well, right. you can put the, the garages in the floodplain. You know, 
that and that I think is a major issue. You have and, to and you figure out if you're going to sell this building, you have to start thinking about one, how it's going to be used. Whatever way, if we own it and, and let somebody use it, somebody's got to use part of that that part, that that ball field. That don't, property there. Don't forget uh, the back the ball there. field. Yeah. You've got to stop this. You can't go very far because right not just inside of the third there's base line, line, there's the storm drain line yeah, that we that, just replaced. Yeah, but, that, yeah, but these, are not fatal, these are not fatal yeah, flaws. Yeah. But I mean, to park, you can park cars on that. The, the, the ball field up in North Hadley, which is a field, is used for parking right now by the church, okay, yeah, on the grass. All the time. All the time, okay. There's no reason why you couldn't develop a parking plan that of would make course. sense. It would not be ugly and hideous. Yes. And, and even could have garages. But of all people, Barry Roberts is probably one of the very, very few that would take on that project exactly. right. and yeah, give us something that this town would like. Of course. But we, you cannot have people so you can't that, do this, you can't just do say, no, no, I'm not no. going to. And you that's just not do that you have to, be to people that are willing to come right. and talk to you right. about what to do. And if, there's, and if we do us, if the town, if we get the sentiment of the town, if the town says, yes, we want to keep this building up by whatever means necessary, okay? And that would force the town fathers, you know, <laughs> you're, you're the father, uh, you know, would force them to at least consider yeah. thinking outside the box. I, I just and don't. I, I really. I mean, senior housing in that build, building with an L. Yes, exactly. God damn it, it would, it would have been a good proposal. There was only really a few things that that building can be utilized for. Yes. I mean, again, it's you look so around the other towns, that every other town has done this. So, you and guys want to do the tool? piece of property, and it's going to be hard. It, it, it's already, yeah, it's hard to talk about, but it's already, you know, it's it, it's even more harder to, to configure the, the property and the layout. And, and yeah. It's just, it's pretty so tough. You want to get together on the 21st? Yeah. Put all I'll, send, I'll send my survey my, that I drafted. And a feel year free ago. if you got something together, we'll um, kick it around. Kick it around. Not kick the can down the road again. We should uh, move on to the, the, yeah. the town, the, the pillars. So the town hall. I'd right. love, to find, love to find out what's happening with that. Okay, I'm going to give that to Gary because he he's been okay. Great to in touch. We're, We're going to ask to. Uh, yeah, this is uh, this is not good. We can't fuck this up. No, <laughs> it did. It got it did. Bad. Bad. Big time. <laughs> okay, we paid Larry. To come up with this whole scenario on how to fix, tie everything in. Come up with the specs. Your yep. specs, your fasteners, your glues, your drawings, your yeah. stuff, drawings. Yeah. Okay. So Larry presented this. Now, here's the deal. Larry sent this to Tim. Tim sent it off to our powers, powers to be. be. Not the ones that are all there now. Some. We asked for it to be reviewed before it went out to bid. The package. So the package. It yeah. was Larry does the the one part, and then they do the second. They put part their finance. Right, right. The, 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 the boilerplate. Yeah, right. Put it all sure. together. Yes. Let we, us asked, review it. we asked for it to be reviewed before it went out to bid. We didn't did get a chance. It. it came back. They opened up two bids. Oh, we yeah. actually went out to bid. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. It went out to bid. It, went out to bid. it came back. Yeah. We asked for. I was there when the bid opening. Two people bid on it. We asked for to look at their credentials, their resume, you know, yeah, references. Sure. We were told, no, we're going to do it. We were told. We mean the town was going to do it. Yeah, somebody else. That, so I told Larry who the two people bidding on it were, and he says, well, your low bidder, I don't think is capable of doing it. But he doesn't okay. do that work. He doesn't do that type of work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Asked again, can Larry review it? Let, let Larry look at it. He knows, you know, okay. We were, no, so it didn't. So we supposedly it went out to bid. Then it never got awarded. We're like, what's going on? Well, then they went back to town meeting, supposedly got voted on because the CPA money was finding out, which it didn't. Yeah. Then according, it was ordered. It was, it was awarded. And Larry goes, well, I've been talking to the guy that supposedly got it awarded and he doesn't know he's got it. Because right. they were sending it for six months to a person that doesn't work for the company. So once they got that back, 
You can't make this stuff. What, up. Yeah, no, let it's get better. Hold on. So once it once the, they find the guy that's now in charge of this guy's stuff, he's Larry starts talking to him about the project. We had a meeting at the thing because this was already October. You're not going to do that kind of work in the middle of winter. Unfortunately, it would have been great to do it during COVID last summer yeah. because nobody was using the middle of winter. Right. We had to worry about blocking it off. Right. Okay. Larry comes back and says, boy, that guy, he's getting the guy that inherited that job. He doesn't know what he, what the other guy signed up for. They think it's just the scrape and pain. I said, read the specs. I said, hold on. Let me double check. So I called the other guy that did, because I knew him. I said, Do you still, I, so I, first thing I did was I asked from the town hall, what was sent to these people? You're not getting it. What was sent out for the bid specs? You're not getting it. So what came back? Oh, here, let's start. So now we'll go to this. So this is what Larry had. This is your cover letter talking about the project. This here is the, the, mm -hmm. the pictures with basically scrape and paint. You know, we do a little flashing up here and it's showing you what some of the things are. This here is the meat and potatoes. Where it's to buy your fashioners. Yeah. How to buy all this stuff, where to get this stuff. Yeah. That didn't go on. So I asked what went out. This is what went out, the front end stuff, with this picture and this letter. Without the specs. Without the specs. Without the meat and potatoes. Well, I bet it was all, all the boilerplate about conflict of interest. Oh, yes, all that's, that's there. That's Prevailing that's wage, all that's there. So that's what came back. So I'm like, all right, well, maybe this guy didn't get it. So all right, well, two people bid. You got to make sure yeah. everybody bid on the same, same thing. thing. Yeah. So I called the other guy. What did you get? Can you send it to me back? Because we've got a, an issue here. He sends me back the same thing. So you now never got the specs. I called the. I had to call the town's lawyer. Explain to him what yeah. went down. We read this, and we talked to Larry. Larry's been involved. Basically, they did what twenty six thousand dollars on a scrape and paint. For half the job. Scrape paint and cotton. Yeah. A third of the job. A third of the job. Not to restore the how much money do we have in the budget? There's not enough, it's like 34 or 5, I think. So we can't just so you can't it. do a change they order cancel it. because it's 20% over yeah. the contract that you signed with these guys. They signed it. You can't cancel it because they have a right. contract. They can't cancel it. They got so now we have to go to CPA, and that's one of my notes here tonight. And then I go to CPA to we have to go to CPA that. and we have to come out with another bid yeah. for the, the rest of the potatoes. For the real part of the world. Yeah. Wow. Because this guy's got the contract to paint. And contract. But he can't paint. We haven't got but he can't do the job. Of course, now you're going to get into a little bit of fighting here. If, well, that's not oh, right. And that's yeah. why your paint deal, because yeah, the other guy did the work. So that's what we're at. We've got to go back to CPA, ask for more money, and we need to come up with a figure. Yeah. And then we've got to go out to bid for Again. this, the real work. Yeah. Does and then this be, guy. Can they do the scrape and paint and then do this other work? No. <laughs> you got to do that at home. Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we got to restore the. This columns. is the lipstick before we paint them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. So we've got to come out with this, and this guy's sitting here waiting in the wings yeah. to paint it. To paint okay, it. Well, that's, this that's, guy's stuff. that's the only. And yeah, the problem that's is. That's the only way we can do it with yeah, the lawyer. It's the only way we can do it. But the lawyer. problem is, if something goes wrong, you won't be doing that. Yeah. I mean, if the paint peels off the next year, you're going to get. It wasn't prepped, right? The, you didn't paint it right. The other way is just give them the $26,000, go out and bid on the whole thing again, and then we don't have finger pointing. I don't know. I mean, that, well, this all could have been avoided, but of course, if, we, we, if can't, somebody we can't avoid it. It happens. This it's, is what yeah, it is. I mean, we have to yeah. deal with it. Yeah. But you, this you, is what happens when yeah, I, I know. I people mean, you put and I do, front. We do the cemetery stuff. Yeah. It's the same thing. Yeah. Um, but it's not, we're not, I we're mean, not talking about big bucks, but, but the, what you but have to I do. do is you got to insist that it, before they send the fucking package out, you got to look at it. And when you get the references back, yeah. you need to check them. Yeah. I mean, I've done it with a couple we, of electrical contractors. Yeah. Oh, David says it's low bid. Okay. The guy didn't even bid prevailing wage. Yeah, we, well, he's owner operator, so he doesn't have to bid prevailing wage. Problem is, the, the guy's on call for the town. Yeah. If he's on vacation or if he's sick, He's got to hire an electrician to come here. And he's got to pay him for paying the wage. He's going to be paying him more than he's making. Yep. And then you find out, oh, the references were good. Well, not really, because I called this guy's references, and they're like, oh, no, we had the guy. He was a good, like, 
house guy, apartment guy, but he, you know, we got rid of him and hired the other company that was the guy we had before, you know, because they've got trucks, they've got yeah, yeah, stuff yeah. for that. Well, I mean, we did that. You got a bit apples to apples. When we did the mowing contracts. Right, you have them. I think you and I both checked the references. Nobody right. got all of that. We, it, I texted and I called We've got and I had the chair of the select board specifically ask if it was reviewed and the statement was it was i mean there's i don't know how many well pages sure it was but they it wasn't dropped the ball there's at least 20 pages there yeah it wasn't we asked to look at it before it went out that yes. I mean, that's so that's what they did on what's written there the and i'm just i'm furious over it why well, well the, you know, the COVID, COVID, hit, that it wasn't a two hundred thousand the, the COVID, hit, COVID and the, the municipal building committee sort of dropped off for a while. But no, this had no, no this happened really. way before that. This was all done. This was yeah. this was all before we even stopped having meetings. Yeah, that's right. A, this is how long it took us to find out that there was a mistake because they between oh well we got to go back and ask for it again. No, you don't. It's it's there. We've so, got money that's sitting there longer than that. Uh, Whoever told you that, that, that you know to, this you happened? Know, yeah. We were never George, allowed to review. You should have been able to review it. The, I, I even walked had, had they walked walked us, down to, to get it. I was not. I was told I cannot get it. Had we, we were had all they, relaxed when you got here, Tim. What happened? Had they given this to us? To review it before, again. when the bids came back, as we looked at it, we would have realized there's the no stuff there. We didn't bid on it, and we could have canceled it before we awarded it. I don't know. Well, again, I, I right, go well, back to this, I this mean, can't happen again. People, people no, have been making mistakes. mistakes. It's never going to happen. Got, again. Right. But you, you, this is not enough. All right. There's so, not enough. Thinking and it sounds like the you got the train back on the tracks. Yeah. Yes. Well, yeah. the train's yeah. back on the track, but we you got to get buy another money. engine. We have you know? to go to see if you have to go back to see. You're going to do it this, this round? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. got yeah. yeah. to tomorrow and submit it. Okay. So, uh, oh, okay. That was the thing because we wanted to try to do this I, at the October meeting. Put something in tomorrow. Just a, a placeholder. That's what, yeah. A place for what? CPA? Now, yes. Because and we also need to put a placeholder in for the October town meeting. And that's that deadline's coming up. Yeah. But well, CPA's first. Well, 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 you need a placeholder yeah. for the town meeting. Too. Yeah, yeah. So I would do that. And uh, so, kind, kind of to go along with your columns, the north side of uh, the town hall is peeling like crazy. So um, it's all peeling. The north some, side's worse. At some point, um, yeah, that's going to come up again. We got to go and start okay, well, thinking about. I mean, that the point. whole thing should be addressed. And of course, once we do the columns, it's going to look ten times worse. <laughs> yeah, between that and the church, one step at a time. Well, it's, it's going to look worse. But when, when we painted the, the the building, the town hall was like twelve years ago or something like that, and there was a big issue about whether we should put vinyl siding and versus painting. And uh, um, did we? When do we get the money? Was it CPA? Or did we have to raise a we have to bond that money to find it? Was CPA? Back. That's what I thought. They'll pay for painting. They will they? No. They, they wouldn't. They pay. They don't pay for maintenance. They pay. Yeah, I see. Right. So we had to find that twenty thousand dollars, whatever it was, somewhere else, and I don't remember where, where it came from. But that's the same. We'll have the same problem. Yeah, you can't. I don't think CPA will fund that kind of work. Yeah. No, they, they, they have in the past. Yeah. Not, yeah. Not maintenance. Yeah. 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 I mean, if you were, you know, if you had rotten siding or something, I guess, I guess what happens is if you don't do any maintenance and it rots, then they'll, then they'll pay. pay. Exactly. Yeah. That, yeah. Is, so, that the, is that the uh, strategy with the uh, drop of <laughs> They don't have enough money, though. That's the uh, problem. They got plenty of money. I mean, because we definitely reached that point. Yeah. Well, so I don't, you know, I don't know if there's any other. Uh, uh, October. The extra money for the column. Oh, that, no, it says CPA. You got to go to CPA for a placeholder. Oh, place oh, oh, yeah, right. And just, just, we just, need a placeholder for the yeah. town yeah. meeting. Well, you need to just send an, e send an email to, to Amy um, Biden. She's the co chair or, or Ed, uh, what's his name? Matusco. What's his name? Not Matusco. Edwin. Yeah, Matusco. It is Matusco, yeah. is it? Yeah. The farmer? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, anyway. Oh, Eddie's. Um, just to say, CPA? yeah, she, they're co chairs, but a they, was uh, fine. Uh, Amy's okay. Amy's she's not a CPA? Yeah, yeah. yeah. she's yeah. a co chair. So oh, send, cool. send her an email because September 1st, I was told, is the date that the proposals are due. And just say, we want to do a placeholder for some additional work on the town, on the town, uh, yep. all columns. 
you know, I'll call, an estimate. I'll, yeah. I'll call Larry tomorrow and see if he's got a dollar figure of what he yeah. has. I mean, I'm thinking it's at least equal to yeah. talk and, and you can, use, you can use those specs or more. You can reuse the specs. Oh, yeah, the specs are fine. Yeah. It's just, yeah, we can reuse them. Yeah. Yeah, that's an awful expensive paint job because, you know, I, I would have bid on that. Yeah, yeah I'd say <laughs> <laughs> I hired Danny to help me. Danny, you could have done that right away. I'll be there every day. <laughs> Put the cock oh. out with a snow shovel and go. Okay. So, yeah, we can't make that kind of story but, up. But, but, but here's, a, here's an object lesson. When you do the Goodwin bid documents, when you get them in hand and you send them over to town hall for them to add well, all that boilerplate crap, and you've got to stand on the desk okay. and say, I want to see those there's things. A, there's another out. option. Too. Can't. Yes, you can. You can't have them. We were told that. We were told well, that. Don't accept yeah, it. I just don't look, accept that. It, use this. Use that whole thing as an example. Yeah. The, oh, the building well, committee like, here for a reason. It's yeah, we're, but we're listen, make there's another way too because Larry and, and other guys do that. Also, they put the front end work with it too. Yeah, sure. I know, but uh, you and, know, I don't know why they insist on exactly. On if you you know, it's boilerplate. You know, here, hold that and go ahead and hit it with oh, a hammer. Carolyn, I only got happened one once. When we were, she wanted to know what happened. And, you know, she trying to yeah. catch up on it. And we're sitting there. I mean, it took a lot of research. This, I spent, and I don't she, know how many hours trying to figure she, this out. She, she went nuts. Yeah. Because Larry, you know, you got the architect telling the guy, no, there's a lot more to that. I don't know where you're, what your guy's telling you. And then all of a sudden it's like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me and check. she said, look, on my deathbed, I'll tell you that I never, ever, ever. That'll never happen. Again. Yeah, but well, the problem is, it's still some of the same people cheap. doing it, right? Yeah, talk is I can, she She's. I, I think her head. She's. I, got yeah, it. I like her. I think her her intentions are good. But again, she is one person. One person, one person. or maybe a person and a half. You know, the, the, the crap that happened with the conservation commission. She completely got blown them out of the water. Yeah. Plus, she got pneumonia. I mean, it's just it's not functional over there. Yeah, I know. And uh, because they don't have enough people, I, I I actually volunteered. I said, "This is this veterans program where you can work off your tax, your real estate taxes." I said, "I'm I'm signing up for that. I'll work over there and help with stuff like that." I mean, I could put a memo together or a package and make sure the right <laughs> people get it. Okay, um, Jesus, <laughs> that's all the big stuff. Um, you know, if you've gone over to the town hall, you'll see new counters and stuff like that. You yeah. Know? Good. So that's kind of all been done. Yeah, they finally waited until you got out of the building to really, your office. Uh, there's not many small little projects that are still left on. There's a few small projects that kind of got messed up with COVID. And then, you know, like I said, when you're calling lawyers for contracts, you don't get time to do some other work. But the, the uh, safety complex got all squared away with the installation over the Sally Port and all that stuff. The and Sally the, Port the installation is not done. We started all that. COVID right. hit. There was two options. Yeah, why do we follow through? One away? guy said, do it one way, don't take the ceiling down. The other guy said he could blow it in and yeah, COVID we, hit, we, nobody could go in. Yeah, and, that's right. And we, we weren't sure it. on what had to come happened. out if they tried yeah, to blow it get in. into the building. Is there any we way that we can revisit? Do we have funds for that? The funds are still there. Yeah, we should we are see if we can get it done before yeah, let's, where. Let's talk about that. And we've got the money for the, we've been holding those. And I've been talking to Carolyn. Like yeah, I said, yeah. you know, yeah. it's, it, it, there's only so much you can do in one day. Exactly. You I know? understand. And but geez, like, if we could get some uh, a project like that done before the weather okay. really starts changing, uh, yeah, that's, we'll, that's, the, that's other thing, the other thing too now is you got to go back to your quotes. First, you got to decide which way it's going to work. Yeah. You know, there's no Sometimes real straight you don't know stuff. until you get in there. Well, right, and that's what I'm saying. We gave us two different places. Now it's like, well, you've got sprinkler heads in there or whatever. Can those be done? Does, is the ceiling going to hold this? We got to get back with Tommy and Tim. You know, and go in there, and of course, we'll work prices are going to be different. And who knows? Maybe I don't know how insulation. Yeah, we'll that's, prioritize that and get that. They can get anything like that done. Good. But that's it's just being a poor that's, winter anyway. It'd be nice to have that. But I will say that now yeah. that the heating system's in, we've redone all the ductwork. We didn't have any problems with. Uh, we put the attic fans in. Yeah, yeah, I remember. And yeah, no that so far this year, we had no water running out of the vents. We had no furnaces. No. Yeah. No uh, water in the pans dripping all over the into the electrical panel. Yeah. And this was about as humid as a year you're ever going to get. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how about the redundant boiler things that are working and they're both firing? And Those you're... are fine. We have the same set system here. Yeah. Same boilers. Works, works good. Um, yep. Yeah, they, um, you know, they come and they service them. They're, they're really good. They're quarterly, you know, here. Um, 
there. Uh, and we have redundant at the North Station also. They're wall hung, same type, wall hung. Um, you know, we got the radiant in the floor. Um, this okay. fall, do you guys want to do another walkthrough of all the buildings? Is that something that everybody wants to do or not? No. Or I don't mind doing that, but I, you know, you're going to hear me scream screaming at the patch, holes are patched in that roof next door. <laughs> I, I, I don't really care. I think. Uh, I mean, we got. We need. I, honestly, all those buildings. Now. The, the only one I'm the only place I'm really concerned about doing a walkthrough is the ones we haven't dealt with, which would be DPW. And if there are any issues over there, or if there's there something well, we DPW, could put all right, so I'll give you an update on DPW. We tried to get trailers. They were voted down by the bosses down there, two different bosses. Okay. Uh, Carolyn now says, you know, there's an issue. I mean, you can smell mold and mildew and not okay. mold, but mildew. There's a major And if part of it is from underneath, yeah. there's no rents because yeah. there's pipes on, you know, not water pipes, but there's, I mean, so it's been a bad year. So it's definitely more prevalent. There's, I don't, there's no, I mean, it's definitely not like the Springfield courthouse. Um, <laughs> the brake trailer is pretty raunchy. Um, so we've revisited getting some quotes on trailers mm -hmm. and we're, I'm working on that. I've got some quotes. I just got to get another quote on, you know, but we've also revisited an addition down there, mm -hmm. which we've got the fuel tanks. The fuel pumps are starting to go in the winter, uh, in the summer, when you get the winter gas in, it doesn't want to pump. So they're either talking about putting another pump submersible into the tanks that are there, but the tanks are reaching the end of their life. You're talking about the streamer -like tanks? No, fuel. Oh, the fuel okay. tanks. Okay. So we've gotten a quote on moving the fuel. That was another part. They're going to test to this when they just think what this is. There've been three different or two already of DPW additions back years ago. Um, the fuel tanks were new and we can't move those. And that's what you got to do. So now they're looking at prices for the new fuel tanks. You're looking at 500,000 to move them away. So they won't be infecting any addition or flow of traffic that's going to be done. Any type of addition that we would do to DPW would be on the south side, just going right off the building yeah. where the, the fuel break. Right. You can't, you can't, you can't, can't go back. The sewer plants there. So we're going to have. To, we need to move those. So there's been a lot of discussion. And Carolyn that. has a person that came out the other day, and she has. There was some money put forward, so she's setting that up to use that for the guy to come up with some stuff. But it's not just an office. I mean, you know, the boss says, oh, just throw up a Morton building. We'll work, you know, have an office. Wait, we're not going to do that. That's, first of all, that's, you know, like getting another trailer only a little one step up. But you need, we need a truck wash down there. You know, in a big way. You, you know, can't, you yeah, can't walk. Years ago. The DEP lets you wash like 24 hours after a storm, you know, outdoors. And then that's it. I mean, if it's 10 below zero that day, you can't wash. So now the stuff goes in, you know, sits there. You know, there's there's other stuff. I mean, the building is very good. I mean, we've done we've got the gable ends yep. clad in metal. And the, um, the only thing as far as the building itself that's there right now, we've insulated. We've got you know two waste oil heaters. We got a brand new boiler down there. You know, in the last ten years, um, basically it cost us. I mean, I don't think we burned eight hundred gallons of oil wow. we paid for. You know. There, the rest of the time. That's because you're freezing your asses off, right? Huh? That's because you're freezing. Your oh no, off. we got the waste oil burners that are. We, oh, we, waste we added uh, a second one down there. So the real discussion is short term versus long term. Short term, get I mean, some, some replacement for those trailers. Gary's looking at that, some ideas, and then the long term, making sure that when we do add on, that we're not going to put anything in the way of like we did before. And, and that um, land is also sewer land. And there's also a big thing right now about the sewer. They're talking with Amherst about, you know, yeah. do we add on or do we make a deal with right. well, the Amherst? Some other we stuff? have the ability you know, to do that. Because that's, so you, know, you can't move in on the This um, highway need. department is one of the things I wanted to talk to, talk about in the end. Um, the place really looks crappy. Uh, it, Needs to be power washed the whole building. Well, that was my building, next thing. It needs the whole to be. The building needs to be painted. It needs to be painted, but before it needs to be painted, it needs to be repointed in some spots. Uh -huh. But but that's to me that this is just general maintenance before you start putting on additions. Well, um, even right. on, on those trailers, they should never get to the point of being so scuzzy looking from the outside. Um, the plywood underneath it, you know. 
Think of guys that can give them a bucket of paint and say, hey, go paint those. It's a nice day. Get out there and paint it. Um, the highway guys could do that. It could be all done. The, the highway guys. Everybody says, oh, highway guys can do this. The highway guys, at the time, they're not. They're out doing other stuff. I mean, but, but they could, you could get, well, in the past, you had guys from jail. I know you haven't been able to get them. Recently. No, we had summer help last year but, to paint. Pull, well. but, but Gary, you can't just say they never can do it because nothing ever gets done. So in the meantime, the building looks crubby. It needs to be painted. It needs to be repointed. The gutters got trees growing in them. Yeah. The plywood all the way around those trailers. There's no paint on them. It's it's plywood, which now looks like it's rotten and moldy. No. It's, so they're pressure treated. So let let's put something on there. If you can't spruce up the building, if if you can't keep these walls clean in these new buildings, why do you want an addition? And if those bosses are saying, no, we don't want trailers, my thing is, well, why should we give you any more as taxpayers if you can't even go and power wash your building and paint it? Well, you know, there's only, I mean, you go down there. I don't get, I, to me, to get help, like to go do something. I know, I there's know. There's a schedule of highway they guys could, that are They scheduled uh, what I'm saying a year down the road and plan for it. You can't plan. I mean, there's a water main break today. Exactly. They're fixing it. You know. Don't give me that. You can't plan. You can plan. If they wanted to plan, they can plan. But you can't let a building go to go to right mean, down the drain Tim, because that's probably, there's no help. Everybody says, oh, the town garage is terrible. We What we've done since we took in there, we added, we put a new boiler, we added another house. It's all good, but it looks bad. We put all new windows in. We but put a new roof on. We did the gable. We should yeah. think about looking at it and coming up with something long-term and short-term and isn't that on chris hmm? isn't that the dbw directors you know thing, thing you say look fix the building up figure out something figure out how to do it you you that's right he's the boss yeah you well, know and the point the point is don't go asking for an addition not that no. they don't need it Take care of what you have. Yeah, I, 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 I don't know that I'd hook one with the other, but the no, thing is, you gotta, something you needs to be done. You got to take care of your own house you, before you can ask. You know, it, it, well, it's not new. It's stuff that needs to be done, like a truck wash thing. I mean, pretty quick. I'm not arguing that point. My point is, what they have, they're not maintaining. No. Uh, all this has always been an issue in this. I mean, it's always been an issue. You got Russell issue. School. I mean. There's, you know, you want them to go over there and point the thing tomorrow. I mean, you know, there's a there's, David, there's there has been absolutely no money for anything on any of the um, maintenance for the last a little over a year. But uh, I think it's you gotta, we need we don't we push need to push, push it. It's gotta be pushed. You, you have push to, you know. I mean, we need I can balance it. my checkbook. You know, when you get you know when you get to April and there's no more money for anything. I mean, you could. Deficit spend and try to get it back, but it's got to be an emergency. Well, usually what happens let's, is let's, let's think about going down to the building as a committee. Yeah, walk I totally agree. Listen, with there's you. another we can put there's that a, down. There's also it's another problem do, with the DPW. Let's prioritize these things. Let's do this it out, now. Not just say it can't be done. Yeah, let's just done. do it. it let's money. let's it's, put it down on paper. Yeah, right. this, yeah, yeah, this is a, something that we feel that it should be done you know, by. I can't keep reaching in and eating Cheetos because sooner or later you get the bottom okay, of the pole. Let's do it. Okay. All right. And the um, other thing that needs to be done at the DPW is there needs to be a fence around the place. Well, that, okay. So I mean, that's something that not well, really does. Let, let, you know, then, then, you know, the capital plan, where you put in, you know, $50,000 for a fence. Maybe it doesn't get approved, but at least you push it forward. Yeah. You know, if you would eat something, you ask for it. Well, that, you, that's make the part case. of the problem. People don't, the right people don't ask. And that's why the building committee asked for all this stuff. Know, I mean, they kept saying, you're not going to get it. Well, we is did. Is there a time that you guys want to go down? What's the date are we planning? Right. I'm asking, no. well, you want to go down to it? That's the first question. And if you do, when do you want to go down? I mean, I... I don't, I mean, I don't know. Gary lives there. I live there. I, I agree with him. It's, 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 it's work. I walked I walk, I walk my dog down there and I walk around. And I took a whole bunch of pictures of it. I know what it is, but we can go down and. Why don't you meet? Why don't you go down and do an inspection and sit down with Chris and say, hey, look, what are you, you going to plan for this? I mean, and then you'll hear his litany of 
I just want to because I got to do it tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Still on our agenda yeah. somewhere. <laughs> or, well, maybe we should but have at least a meeting in particular you know? for that. I mean, so, the gutters. I don't. Know. I cleaned them last uh, fall. It, it's, it's, it's fallen by the wayside. I keep coming. Okay. The trees, yeah. You eliminate the hazard. <laughs> yeah. Getting on a ladder, that's a hazard. The first thing they say to you, one of the guys got poison ivy well, the other day. We eat guardrails. Why do you eliminate the hazard? Oh, you don't want to do that. All right, guys. All right. Too much talk. Yeah. So you want to go down? I'm not me. No, so I trust you guys to. I mean, I can come up I with can, a list and we can get quotes okay. on it. And, you know. Why don't you put the list together for the 21st and we'll go yeah. do it? You you, you have pictures. We'll right. put something right. together. I got. And then uh, put a recommendation. We don't together. need pictures. I know where all the cracks are. Well, right up. You know, the next we'll step, up and, after talking, and then there's writing, and then there's. You want me to get the guy that's going to paint the town hall columns? <laughs> But that's the problem. Put the paint you know, heavy on the cracks and good enough. What the heck? You and I painted the gymnasium. Yeah. Uh, you know, you had volunteers that did that. Oh, yeah. Them. A lot of stuff does gets done by volunteers. Let's not forget that. But, but you, know, you can't depend it. on it all the hey, time. Hey, we built the gazebo. We painted the inside yeah. of the Hawkins gym. Hasn't been yeah. touched since. I mean, that was what? Almost Build a few sheds. That was almost town. 20 years ago now. <laughs> well, we, uh, I don't know. It just, it, it just looks horrible. And, and I guess way to save money is uh, some of your lighting over there is uh, those halogen or whatever they are. They could put LED spotlights out there. Those were just replaced like literally four years ago. Yeah, with the wrong stuff. <laughs> well, that was no, the LEDs weren't I know. available. So now they're better. And yeah, when, the and we did replace. The hall that we asked for, um, I asked David a while ago and he said, it's a big thing with Eversource, unless you yeah. do all of the thing, uh, the whole town in LED, they don't want you to do it unless you're going to take ownership of it. Yeah, they want, none. Eversource uh, wants us to own it. Yeah. So, and they don't care because you're not, they, you're paying the bill, so they don't care about the LED. Yeah. But, um, you know, well, they love it. It's not LED. a shame yeah. that they, they're not paying the taxes in Springfield. You see, it's LEDs. It's, it's all. Yeah, uh, yeah. All right. So a lot of good work today, guys. I got pictures, Gary. You know, <laughs> I know what it is. You know things that are over there, but you know, just tomorrow morning you can walk around and say, you can take Chris and uh, Scott and say, look at how crappy that looks. And you need to sit down with Chris and see <laughs> yeah, how. Yeah, how yeah. yeah. All right. Is there anything else anybody want to bring up? We're gonna do. We're gonna have a meeting on the twenty first. Right. Twenty first. Well, I'll send some stuff around on Russell, uh, the survey stuff. Right. Okay. Yep. You can email it out to everybody. I'll just, I'll just email everybody. And I'll see about what we can do about having uh, some hybrid type of meeting and where we can have. Yeah, on our maintenance, on our building. Yeah, right for up. this, um, so David can participate yeah. next next meeting. Yeah, I I kind of like the in person thing, but I do yeah, too. Me too. But we uh, we yeah, have I one agree. member that, yeah, I understand. and that's fine. We'll no we'll issue, figure yeah. something out for him so he can participate. Yep. Okay. That was exciting. Isn't that a fun meeting? Well, don't forget we you, had, do this you had a whole year. Or yeah, exactly. Right. Build up stuff. Next time, yeah. next, time <laughs> next time around, there shouldn't be so much um, chitter chatter in between. You can maybe stick to that line items a little closer. Yeah. <laughs> But we've always done this. Yeah. So it's, it's hey, it's, yeah. so two do hours. I do have to hear a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All Second. in favor? Aye. Thanks. Aye. How bad for letter on Goodman? That helps. That bit stuff helps.